You like our voice? It turn you on? This ain't shit. Wait till you see it on Patreon. That's right. Our Patreon is so lit. We're going to have Harry After Dark, our Be For Reals on there. Make sure you tune in to subscribe. Please. We have our own Patreon group where you can come talk to us and tell us what you want to hear on our podcast. All that good stuff. Yo. And it's only $5 a month. $5 a month. Go ahead and come over, to the, the, come over to the Heroes and Hoochie side, okay? Yo. Come fuck with the winning team. I want Okay, so you know the regular Olympics are going on, right? Yeah. But if you the real Olympics, the real the real Olympics. But yeah. If you had real nigga Olympics, yeah. <laughs> what would you give a regular Olympic for? Um. So I immediately think about myself. Uh-huh. I would have to say for leg shaking because I shake my leg a lot. Oh. <laughs> I'm shaking it now. Really? Yeah, I have a really bad. I can shake my leg for hours. Really? Mm-hmm. Um. I'm gonna say I'll probably get the the gold medal for like grammar. <laughs> worst grammar. <laughs> Not worst grammar. Misspelling. Nah, you ain't worse than offset. How? You oh, every time offset writes, I'm like, nigga, oh. what are you saying? I, I made a post and I spelled emotional wrong. He's like, you spelled <laughs> emotional <laughs> wrong. Whenever I see it, I be trying to tell you, like, yeah, no, go ahead and take that down for me, baby. I appreciate it. <laughs> Girl, I, I it, it had like a lot of views already. I just took it down. <laughs> And then I completely deleted it, too. So I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> no one's going to see this twice. <laughs> I'd be, really try, be really trying to work on that, though. But I think that's like, yeah, worse spelling, worse grammar. Yeah. What else would you give an Olympic, though, for anybody else? Um, I would have to say. Um, I'm going to be vulgar, but I would like one for the best head. Male or female category? I don't have no dick. <laughs> Eat, I'm saying eat me <laughs> eat me <laughs> I'm saying like would we have like the best dick sucker oh no for oral for me oh, okay yeah and whoever wants to do it you know what I'm saying like <laughs> not you just sit back yeah just lay back <laughs> oh they were good um eight out of ten solid eight yeah it's about a four girl you know I've been watching um Love Island uh-huh. Love Island USA. Uh-huh. I'm only like maybe I didn't realize the shit was fucking 36 episodes. Oh wow! I'm on like episode 10. How many? How long is ep- each episode? During an hour. Oh fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. So I've been watching it. I'm like, I'm thinking, oh okay, I'm on nine. It should be about 12, mm-hmm. you know? Shit, I saw 36. I was like, okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. But they did. They will let anybody kiss anybody. Mm-hmm. So they did this one thing where like they blindfolded the guys Mm -hmm. and then all the girls kissed all the guys. Oh, wow. And then they had to like rate the kiss. Oh, wow. But some of the dudes were getting kissed by the girls that they're dating in the house. And did they know? No, they're blindfolded. No, I'm saying, did they know the the girls they when they were kissing them? Like, There's a couple guys that were like, "Oh, I know who that is." There was oh, a, wow. one guy. I think one guy gave a girl a low rating, and she was like, <laughs> "Damn." And then there was one girl. Girl, she kissed all the guys, and all of them gave her a low rating. And they were like, one dude was like, "Um, that was really aggressive." <laughs> Damn. You know what? No, I do like a good kisser. Girl, kissing it is that's a, a that's a lost that's art a, form. Definitely is an Olympic sport. Fingering. Ooh, nah, I don't want to be. Best finger? Don't, don't finger bang me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fuck. I haven't been finger banged good in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I like, haven't either. I just feel like. I haven't been finger banged I don't like. I don't want one for a play like that. You don't? Nigga, eat, eat me. <laughs> then beat me. <laughs> we ain't got to do that. Beat thing. the cat. Yeah, eat and beat. <laughs> Beat the cat, eat, not her. Eat, yeah, no, nigga, don't touch me. Sh- Imagine, nigga. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> no, eat and beat the cat like a floor seat mat, nigga. <laughs> That's what you can do. <laughs> you be my ass. That's what you wanted. Look, girl, you gotta be very specific. That's what you said. Nah, nigga. You like said this. eat and beat. Nigga, that's what you said on the podcast. So when I do it, you gonna give me your now I'm in jail because you told me to eat and beat you. Now nah, you got me locked up. <laughs> Show them the footage. They gonna be like, their "Officer, roll that beautiful bean footage." And I'm suing because that bitch didn't do what she said. She wanted. It. She went back on her word. She is. <laughs> nah, don't beat me because I'll shoot you. So let's not do that. Yeah, I'm nah. trying to think of what else. Oh, booster. Oh, I love me a good booster. Oh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Call me. <laughs> For real. 
so one thing about me i'm a buy facts i need me a little i need me a she plug right about now fuck a she in nah i need it's back to school i time. want somebody with a with one of them credit cards mm-hmm. let me let me stop <laughs> <laughs> Go on one of them websites. <laughs> Girl, I tried to do that one time. This shit was so complicated. No, I'm not doing it, and you don't either. No, I, I looked. You leave that for the professionals. I looked on the website. I didn't actually do anything. <laughs> remember I found that girl we know? Mm-hmm, I remember that. Like, look at all your information right here. Girl. I ain't going to do nothing, but I'm just saying. This was a possibility. <sighs> yeah, yeah, best booster. Best booster. Boosters are, oh, especially when they be, I like a crackhead booster. These new age boosters and shit be one half off the price. Yeah, I want somebody to try and get rid of the shit. Hell yeah. yeah. They got to have it. Five dollars. Yeah. For I the, saw one girl the other day. Yeah, five dollars. <laughs> Just take it. Yeah. It's, matter of fact, it's yours. Buy two of them. You good. <laughs> I saw one girl the other day. She had boosted a hundred Bath and Body Works candles. Oh, wow. And I'm like, bitch, you know how fucking heavy? <laughs> yeah. You know how, do you know how heavy walking out with 15 candles it is? That couldn't have been just from one place. Oh, hell no. Nah. Ain't no way. They would have They would have arrested her. Yeah, no. Nah. You, got, you got to move real fast. Yeah, that. no. She probably went to 20 Bath and Body Works throughout the And just got a bunch of stuff and walked out. Yeah, but she was like, yeah, $10 a piece, $10 a piece. I'm like, bitch, you have a fucking 100 candles. You need to let them hoes go two for seven. Yeah, for real. Because don't, don't that be the price when they be on special or something like that? Girl, yeah. I'm like, really? I could just wait until December and get them for six ninety five. Facts. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. And I don't want no fucking vampire blood candle. Nah, for real. <laughs> I want no candy corn candle. No Juneteenth candle. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, because they ain't doing food stamps like that, too. Like, where are the people that said they food stamps for 50, 50, 50 cents on a dollar? Girl, what happened to that? Yeah, I said this one bitch on my 75 for a hundred Why are we acting like what we're doing is not illegal? <laughs> I fuck all that. But, bitch, you, they, it ain't even your fucking money. That's what I'm saying. So why are you trying to barter with me? You already know the system. Yeah, I'm going I'm to snitch on your bitch. A hundred dollars in stamps for 50. Facts. Where and, it? You can call me, too. Fact, you can definitely give me a call. <laughs> give me a ring a ling a ling. <laughs> I'll buy Hit it. Hit my line. <laughs> Anything else you'd have a, an Olympic mm, for? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I think that's a pretty solid list, though. I think it is pretty solid. I think if I had a, a I booster. I do want to do best score. Best who? Best score. Like somebody. Oh, who? Okay. I saw Duval post Kaya or Tia. Oh. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. I might have to go Kaya. You think Kaya? I don't know. The way Tia just had the... Like, I feel like... I mean, Kaya is good with her roast. Yeah. But I feel like Tia say some shit you ain't never heard before. Kaya too, though. Saying a bitch look like... <laughs> we're going to talk about it. Yeah, we're definitely going to get there. But, I mean... I maybe think- I just haven't seen Tia go off for a long period of time. Girl, that love was... Long as fuck. Well, I mean, I feel like Kyle was going live for like two hours talking shit. Oh, that's true. But Tia, Tia went in for a long time. Have you watched any more of the Auntie's podcast? No, I ain't watched the, oh, the first one. Not. I watched the first one. It's too chaotic. It's too much stuff going on. Oh, you didn't watch no more of it? No, I could. It's too much. Like it's too much going on. Everybody trying to talk. Every clip I see, Tokyo trying to show her pussy. And she trying to show that monkey. <laughs> she definitely trying to show that monkey to somebody. Tokyo thinks she on OnlyFans. Yeah, she want. She get, trying to get an extra check. <laughs> She think everybody want to fuck her. <laughs> and if you don't get her, like, she an attention whore. Yeah, she like, is. If you don't get her attention, she want to show you a coochie or something else. Yeah. And, um, Carlissa is cool, but she kind of, she a bird. <laughs> Tia, cool. She just want to. It's so weird. Everybody then rod Watching everybody. Her. She want to do that and rod everybody. I'm like, girl, if you don't say, I didn't realize how skinny she was either. Oh, yeah. She looks very little. I guess I just ain't really noticed. But I'm just like. She looks really little. How many episodes do you think they're going to do? Jeez, I don't know. I give it before they fall out. Yeah. Oh, I want to say seven. I think they got more than that because they've showed like whoever they have lined up. So I think they have really? those at least. Now they come back for a season two. I'm not sure. Mm, okay, yeah. I'm not sure. I guess that'd be the real question. Yeah, somebody gonna want some more money, or mm-hmm. somebody don't like each other, or some shit like this. So 
I, but it's, it's too chaotic. They need some structure on the show. Cause everybody talking to, and I guess that's the whole premise of their show too. Right. It's like chaos. You never know what they're gonna say. But right. they, it's too much for me. Someone like me to focus on. I just can't do it. Yeah. Damn. Shit. Fuck. Damn. Up, you have a song, girl. Why did I literally just think that? I was like, fuck. I don't have a song. Can you think of one real quick? <laughs> gosh, y'all. I hate thinking under pressure. Oh gosh. I can go first while you um looking for one. All right. <laughs> Um, this person recently came out too, or so I've heard. Um, okay. Oh shit, my Wi Fi ain't working. The Wi Fi ain't working. Uh, my phone is going slow. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I found one. Okay. Um,. Now you had me on my knees, begging God, please, to send you back to me. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. You made me feel like I could not breathe. Now all I ever wanted to do was feel your touch and give you all of my love. But you took my love for granted. This sounds really familiar. You want my love and now, but you can't have it. This sounds very familiar. God sent me an angel. She came out? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I thought you'd been out. <laughs> From the heavens above. Oh, damn. How'd yeah. she come out? I don't know if it was a post or something. Or maybe she per- performed at Pride. But I thought, huh? You performed at Pride? <laughs> Look at her living her truth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just remember her looking like a chola. A boy. <laughs> she, yeah, she definitely looked like a, a homie doll. Yeah, the, yeah. Y'all remember the little homies who used to go to the grocery store? Yeah, and the Lokes. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> the Lokes, hell yeah. But that was kind of racist. It kind of was. But is it racist if if it's a, it, a company that, you know, their brand that I does mean, it? I mean, they had to be chola owned. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it was. Yeah, we need to find out who, who owns. Owns. It wasn't be some fat ass white man, girl. I'm trying to tell you, fat, fat Republican. Hell yeah, I'm gonna, I'm we was gonna, giving him all our quarters. Yeah. You bought a chola? Yes. You bought a homie? I mean, not a chola. <laughs> Damn. I used to want the chola. You bought homie? Yes. Oh, and wow. I was always getting the same one. <laughs> Damn. You got Smiley. <laughs> who? Oh. <laughs> not Smiley. I'm gonna look it up while you uh, do yours. Okay. What's this about? Oh, he's the owner? Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. I feel better. He was a young Lokes, too. Yeah, I feel better. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Should I call first? I can't decide. I want to, but a B got pride. Oh, I know this. The switching up is what I can't fuck with. I'm feeling you, but you hard to get in touch with. You ain't hit me up in a while. I know this. Acting like you don't know my number. You you don't know what number to dial. Is this Cardi? Yeah. Oh. Uh, ring, ring, yeah. ring. Yeah. Girl, that song. You don't hear me no more. You know what? I, that album was actually fire. pretty fire. That's the reason why Cardi, I feel bad for Cardi. Yeah, because she, really she, she has a high ass pedestal to get sure on. Does. Like, But Cardi puts out decent music. Yeah, but. It's been a minute. Like the the songs that she put out have been decent. Even like the features she done has been decent. But I can definitely understand like the fear of trying to yeah, top that. Yeah, trying to top that. Cause that, that's been six years. It don't even sound like it's been that long. This this a, that's a different Cardi we got now. Yeah, she got two kids. Whoa, two and a possible <laughs> three kids now. <laughs> but like, yeah, no that that album was fire. Yeah, it was really really good. Like from top to bottom, it's yeah. probably a really good solid album. Very very much so. Right, a good one yeah All not right. too bad for under the pressure okay well i forgot how to start the show a um a best friend ain't it a blessing okay. you are listening to another episode of hear you podcast. podcast this is the black one <laughs> this is the bald one <laughs> <laughs> you ready <laughs> let's go <laughs> <laughs>
All right, she ready to start in this week with the shit. Let's go. Okay, you know, it's it's been it's been a very active last couple of weeks, y'all. So, mm-hmm. you know, just bear with us. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's start off with let's do a hundred rounds. Okay. Love and hip hop. Atlanta. Kirk. Miami. Joe Button. Oh, I forgot he was on Love and Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's so so wow all right so let's start off with Mm -hmm. there was actually a young lady who has come forward Mm -hmm. and she is claiming allegedly Mm -hmm. that she is actually pregnant by little scrappy oh okay but she claims that she actually got pregnant during the threesome oh (laughs) so wait How does that happen? Girl, so of course there were people in the comments that were like, wait, bitch. You know? you, yeah. That how means you, it was a raw threesome. Yes, yeah, so how you determine which one? You know what this girl said? So what? she explained it. She's like, no, it wasn't raw. She said that the threesome was going on. They all getting active. Because, you know, she's a mother first. Okay. She left uh-huh. the threesome to go pick up her baby. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I fuck with it. Came back. Oh, you came back. <laughs> so you dropped her off somewhere and came back? Girl, picked up her baby from school, uh-huh. came back. And it was it- still going on? <laughs> That's a long ass threesome. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Is it a threesome then? Because <laughs> she was the two niggas there? Wait, no. No, no it was scrapping another girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> To me, to be in a, 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 a threesome with two niggas and, and you, you leave, leave. <laughs> and they still there when you get back. Shit, bro, what are we supposed to do, bro? I mean, you want be the you want you want be her. You want me to be her. Which one? <laughs> you want to be the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> we could pretend till she get back. She said she gonna come right back. I keep it warm. I keep it warm. It's flicking, <laughs> flicking at each other, dick. <laughs> what that? I don't know how to do this. What, what they be doing? <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I don't know how to do that shit. <laughs> okay. That makes it worse. I'm like, how does she know who she got pregnant by? I'm Girl, th- oh, yeah, no. I'm on with the two niggas. Yes. She's, she's claiming that it was her, Scrappy, and another woman. Okay, so she left to get her baby. She left to get her baby. Came back. Came back uh-huh. and said the condom broke. Yeah, because they was fucking for two hours. Why you want to go take your baby away? <laughs> yeah. You, you didn't draw, you didn't left draw it all up. Bruh, leaving a threesome, I don't know what's worse. Leaving the threesome to go get your baby or picking up your baby. <laughs> and then coming back to a threesome. <laughs> like, damn, the baby, like, you left, you picked her from school. You know the baby hungry. <laughs> That's the first thing kids say. Uh, no, for real. She probably stopped the guy a little, yeah. little nugget meal. Yeah, threw a happy meal in the backseat. <laughs> left the baby in the Mama backseat. got somewhere to beat, baby. <laughs> go back i gotta get her, <laughs> I gotta hurry up make sure you ain't giving her too much dick okay i gotta go back i'll be right back put the baby in the car damn <laughs> <laughs> you like, damn just stay in the car <laughs> and you better not get out either don't open the car for nobody the air on <laughs> damn that's wild <laughs> come on Atlanta summer. i'm a mother first yeah she said she's a mother first that is wild to come back to it. i don't i don't yeah i don't and know then come back and get pregnant they should stay where you was yeah. Just, all you had to do was stay with your baby. Pretty much. And then you, the baby wouldn't have a sister. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. But this is all allegedly, of uh-huh. course. And the I don't know. Broke. Yeah, the condom broke from all that goddamn friction with you being gone. I don't know how it would feel being the offspring of a threesome. I mean, would you know that story? Yeah, you're going to know. Um, it's going to come up. I don't know. She, one day you're going to hear your mama on the phone. I should let you get that other bitch pregnant instead. Damn. That that's uh, and to have it, <laughs> I, you, even crazy. You know what? <laughs> I can I can get past all the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? You want to have a good time, but to actually ha- have yeah, a threesome. Baby? I'm not having a baby from a threesome. Hell no! Mm-hmm. You know how? I, I'm not gonna say scrap. Imagine broke. dating back on your period calendar and it go back to the day of threesome. Hell yeah! And when you're trying to <laughs> look up your conception date, <laughs> and you thinking it's your 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 baby daddy or somebody else, he's like, oh, oh shit! Fuck. Let me call Scrappy. And let him know. Oh, he might not answer. <laughs> no more. Hell no, I'm done. I'm about to DM him. I don't know. But you know, Eric could be talking about Scrappy Broke. I believe that. I believe it too, because you seen that nigga doing TikToks and he was trying to he was trying to be chaotic ass because of the money with the show and stuff. I de- Scrappy definitely needs love and hip hop and all these avenues oh, that yeah, he be going on. He definitely does. He don't need to be making a damn baby, that's for sure. Well, speaking of people who don't need to be making a damn baby. We're talking about other 11 hip hop alumni. So Rashida Kirk and Jasmine all sat down to talk about co-parenting. Girl, fucking embarrassing. I, you know, I just, <laughs> I don't 
don't understand. I'm not gonna say I don't understand, Rashida. No, it's okay to say that. But I just I don't get it. Like I could understand if you were a 600 pound life bitch or something like. But even oh, they got and niggas. Then. And even, even them. And even some of them know when to leave. That's what I'm saying. But like, what I don't. Get. This nigga went bald. <laughs> this nigga got hair. Nigga had dangly earrings. You you almost beat K. You tried to beat K. Michelle ass for saying a nigga with three ear piercings. <laughs> I rap like Shawty no. Love. <laughs> I will never forget that. And I'm talking about co-parenting. And as soon as you leave, like to have even being a, co- I'm not finna join you on your side, bitch. But I'm, no conversation about I'm co-parenting. not sitting down talking about your how we can have an arrangement and girl. And when she said that boy. <laughs> That's what she meant. That, yeah. That's how she feels. That, 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 that uh, thought, that, no, thought, that other boy. <laughs> oh, that boy over there. That boy over there. <laughs> and I'm just like, that is pretty nuts. But as soon as Rashida walks away, because why don't you say this in front of Rashida? Why don't you say, are you going to wear clothes when you come answer the door? And what's that have to do with anything? No, absolutely nothing. You said it to embarrass her. Yeah. And then he wants to make it seem like, oh, you still want me mm-hmm. type shit. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga. And so Kirk seems very easy. Oh, girl, you, Kirk seemed like you could sign. <laughs> Ain't pulling his dick out. Oh, you want dick? Oh, I'm on the way. Oh, we said we're hungry. My bad, my bad, my oh, bad. My bad. <laughs> and Kirk gonna sign back to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, uh-uh. Kirk seems This is the reason why easy. you don't stay with niggas who have babies on you. Yeah. Leave. Yeah. That, that Leave. Is, that is a lot. Yeah. Now everybody got a co-parent. And I'm not fucking doing and it. And I'm not gonna co- and my, and sorry, my I'm not kids- co-parenting your bastard child. Wow. I'm not calling the baby a bastard. <laughs> but, I mean, that's what the old folks called it. But <laughs> illegitimate child. But <laughs> same thing. All all our kids are grown, and we got grandkids. And you finna bring this little baby over here and want me to? No, I'm not, I'm not fucking doing it. I'm not it. co-parenting with you in mm-hmm. that. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Yeah, have fun. Y'all figure it out. I'm not doing it. Y'all figure it so out. So I'm like Rashida. I I'm not gonna lie. Bless you. Bless you. You already know how I feel. Mm-hmm. It reaches a point where a woman is asking for whatever a nigga gonna do. Damn, I'm not asking for Yeah, for real, because if a nigga does this, 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 and this, what makes you think he ain't gonna do that? I mean, he already did it. What else What else is what there? What else is there for Kirk to do? That's what I'm saying. What, what's Scrappy say? Fuck your mama? No, well, no, he didn't say that. What is Scrappy say? <laughs> what is it? What is it? She, she ain't gonna ever leave him. What is she? I forgot what he said. Yeah, what he just said whatever this man do to her, she ain't leaving. And that is crazy to me. And that, for a man to say it, yeah, for an actual man to say that's pretty nuts. Because that nigga know you like that. He literally knows you could take him down through the ringer, and you're yeah. not leaving. And you're not gonna go anywhere. It doesn't fucking matter. Mm-hmm. It's over. He didn't got into it with her mama. Uh, I think I feel like with her daughter before. I think too. he did get into it with her daughter. I'm just like. He had you rapping like Shorty Low for the last <laughs> ten years. Like, I just, I, I cannot see that. I don't know. I don't get it. I feel like we're gonna see Rashida and Kirk on a dock one day. I just, I, I just. Cause how they make money? Some people just want to say they've been married for twenty years. Like, you just want to say some shit like that. But then also, Rashida is old enough to still have that like mentality of like i gotta stick beside him. I'm a, i made my I vows made it this long i made a covenant before god this, this just be the sickness part <laughs> <laughs> sickness and hell this be the poor part <laughs> the poor self the poor <coughs> the poor part for real that is very poor girl just terrible and not in financial wise but that just that's pretty nuts yeah power to her definitely she got a strong power. black woman that's i don't want to be that kind of i don't want to be that yeah that's what the, that's what i don't want to be that strong facts i'm weak <laughs> <laughs> weak Blast all the red. i don't want to be that fucking weak yeah I'm and cool. then who else was it that made sin santana she made her uh pregnancy debut this week this it's not her first baby right no it's her second her first baby's with joe hey has he said anything uh-uh at least i haven't heard anything okay do you five. think he's gonna say anything Probably not. He yeah. he. Whatever he talks about sin, he bleeps her name out. For real? Mm-hmm. Does he speak negatively about her? No. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. Damn, he must got some kind of claws on him or something. Girl, but you can't say I think sin probably told him, "Nigga, keep me off your fucking show." Yeah, don't say my fucking name. Yeah, because I hope them dating was a little wild. It was, but then at the same time, it wasn't. But what was wild about it was that they both were the ex of Erica Mena or had fucked Erica Mena. 
that's pretty. Eric probably like, look at my pussy did. <laughs> Brought y'all together. And, and y'all made life. And Eric went on a press tour apologizing for colorist remarks and stuff like that. I'm like, girl, whatever Safari And begging doing, Safari to come see her kids. Yeah, and get their hair done. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. One thing about me, boy, look, I, I pray to never have to get on the internet and beg a nigga. Yeah, no. I think the most I ever did, I got on my baby daddy ass <laughs> one time. Ooh, I remember I made, I made that nigga feel so down low. He so called, little. He told me, he called me, can you please stop? Take it down, please. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Negative. You told me you wish I'd die? No. I'm going I'm going to make 16 videos about it. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's going to see. screenshots. And I dare anyone to say anything about it. Girl, yeah. I almost turned a uh, Gucci daddy. Uh, remember he got on Snapchat? <laughs> On my Snapchat. Oh, hell yeah. And he's like, you want to be a little hoe? Yeah. Be a hoe then. he started posting. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I'm calling you. I'm like, he on your Snap. <laughs> Girl, he was, lo- he was signed in some kind of way. <laughs> he was posting stuff. Yeah, I knew you was a hoe. And I'm just like, why are you doing this? You know you're not going away. He's like, y'all can have her. Yeah, you want me back. Like, why are you doing this? It makes no sense. Yeah. If you want me, just say that. Yeah, I'm just like, why are you? Why are you doing this? That's pretty crazy. I thought of shit you didn't done. I like you. I, I want to turn into a um album intro. <laughs> I'm gonna find. I'm gonna turn into a, a mixtape intro. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. no for real. <laughs> oh, that'd be lit. <laughs> Not for real. <laughs> you want to be a hoe? You, yeah. <laughs> I gotta find that shit. Yeah. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> but yeah, the love of hip hop cast is just kind of they girl. Just, they're all being suit. It's it's a lot going on. I think they gotta keep that check running. Yeah, like it has to be. Yeah, I just. Kirk and Rash- I feel like Kirk and Rashid is a business arrangement. Chaotic and Scrappy is a business arrangement. Oh, and then what was it? What did Chaotic say about um, Erica Banks recently? Saying she was taking all them Plan Bs? Oh, that was all. That was a while ago. Yeah, well, was that a while ago? Yeah. I remember seeing the when clip recently. Dating. And he was like, during an interview? Yeah, he popped in one of her interviews and was like, yeah, she... She keep taking them Plan Bs, like like they vitamins or something, but chomping on them. I was like, wow. Bro, imagine being with a nigga who just can't help himself but to tell your business. Imagine you have one of the hottest songs. Because <laughs> this was a while ago. Imagine you have Busted just <laughs> dropped. And people are interviewing left and right, and nigga come up there. Yeah, she be chewing them Plan Bs yeah, up like Flintstone vitamins. Yeah. Like, I be nothing in her. She goes straight to pharmacy. <laughs> like, wait, what? Why would you say that? That's, that's a hater. Nah, low key. <laughs> that's a hater. High key. That is a fucking yeah, hater. Humble you. I would have been. I got my eye on you. Yeah, remember when I remember when I put a strap out and you. <laughs> okay. And you say you know what to do, but you gonna figure it out. Who be sitting there? What? What, what? Is like, what? what are you talking about? Yeah, tip for tat. <laughs> I don't even care if I'm lying. <laughs> okay. Don't embarrass me, girl. Yeah, you can't spell embarrassment without men. Facts. Yikes. All right, let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. Okay. Uh, let's do a uh, hundred rounds. Okay. Miss Netta. <laughs> Orange peel. <laughs> Seafood boil. <laughs> the black one. <laughs> Charles. Okay. All right, y'all. So y'all know uh Miss Netta. Mm-hmm. I don't know. At this point, we might have to start calling him Mr. Netta. <laughs> okay. Not Mr. Netta. Because <laughs> y'all didn't get y'all done got rid of all the damn pronouns. Facts. <laughs> Wait, what? They got rid of all the pronouns. So Miss Netta. Mm-hmm. Had the internet in a little bit of a tizzy. Uh-huh. Um, here recently, Miss Netta got on live and was saying, all of you black African Americans mm-hmm. need to leave her alone. Mm-hmm. Talking about Miss Netta want to be a black woman. Miss Netta says she don't want to be no fucking black mm-hmm. woman. She don't be no cone peppies. She want to be a white woman. Because why? Niggas are stupid. <laughs> and ignorant. And ignorant. And they more smarter. They smarter than they y'all. They more smarter than y'all. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Can't no bitch that uh can't can't no group of people that caught smallpox and malaria because they dirty. You can't you cannot say nothing to, to me about that. The whole reason y'all had an outbreak in the bubonic plague is because y'all was nasty and dirty and filthy. You can't tell me shit. <laughs> can't tell me nothing i don't know i i a part of me is like that's that's that old country as black folk black talk <sighs> to me personally whenever i saw it mm-hmm. i said oh yeah miss netta definitely a, a black man yeah because he hate black women yeah he hate black women <laughs> oh 
Uh, we called it. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be, and want to be one so bad. You had all this. All. And my thing is, okay, how do you not want to be one? Mm-hmm. But you got hips. You hips, got a BBL. Legs and <laughs> hips and body. <laughs> bad, bad built body. I don't know. There's so, there's so many other things I would have done first with the money. There's so many other. I know that. one thing. I wouldn't be buying no fucking bags off of DH Gate. Talking about pull it out. This is a Gucci completely wrapped in fucking plastic. Oh. I'm like. That's how you know that you don't really know how it's supposed to come. Yeah. It got plastic on the handle. That ain't mm-hmm. it, Bookie. Mm-hmm. That ain't it. Yikes. That ain't it. It got plastic on the corners. The little peel that mm-hmm. you got to peel. That ain't it. Nah, but you, low key, like, you were right. That's how you know yeah. that Miss Netta is really a black man. Yeah, Miss Netta is a nigga. Yeah. And I bet him and Charles be talking about black bitches. Of course, black bitches and all. But the thing is, you sitting here saying, oh, I don't want to be one of y'all. Mm-hmm. I have yet to see a white woman that's a Miss Netta supporter. Girl, because they probably really thought she was Miss. It was a group of people that was like, Miss Netta's a woman for real. And I'm like, that nigga. <laughs> that nigga ain't ever gay. I ain't nothing but a nigga bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No, you gotta pull out one of them old ones. Shim. <laughs> I say a trainee. No, 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 say a trainee. A trainee. I'm just like that. Don't make no sense. Why yeah. you even say that, girl? Nah, you gotta pull out old slur for Netta. <laughs> <laughs> gotta pull out. Gotta breathe real deep in that bag. Yeah, yeah, real deep in that homophobic bag for Netta. Yeah, I'm like. For you to get on the internet mm-hmm. and to just say that completely unprovoked. And black women are your main supporters. That's what I'm they saying. Don't want, they, look, they don't want to try to get on our ass for your benefit or for your for your case back, back a few was a few months ago, I think. Yeah, when we was talking about them going to uh, gold. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was black women who was riding for y'all. And that's exactly. absolutely crazy for you to be Wicked. sitting shitting on black women unprovoked. And I don't know if it, maybe because Tia tore your ass up. And just no, that, this was before. Oh, yeah, Miss Netta getting on the internet and saying all that. That was way before the tears. Oh, I thought this was like after, like she got oh, tired yeah. of everyone saying shit. Uh, uh, no, this was before. And then after she got online saying, "I don't want to be black. I want to be a white woman." Uh-huh. All these black women were like, "You need to apologize to us." Yikes! And Miss Netta was like, "Apologize for what? I meant what I said." Black bitch. <laughs> black helpful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, tar baby yeah so that's why I w- <laughs> tar baby's crazy <laughs> that's why whenever tia got on miss netta ass mm-hmm. i i didn't feel bad i mean i i i almost never feel bad when tia <laughs> cuts somebody out because most of the time if it is it, it, it they be tia's the one they be fucking with her yeah so she only goes you if you be fucking with her so like i never feel bad when tia go for nobody because it's, it's usually deserved and we did pull up some of the uh, list of Netta uh, quotes that Tia had. Yeah, so Tia said, you old wide back <laughs> Mack truck tire face looking motherfucker. And you know what? Everything she said, I was like, you know what? I can see I it. I see it. <laughs> I can definitely see it. I get it. You look like your face needing alignment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ug- your ugly cantaloupe face ass. Mm-hmm. Your shit look like an orange when you peel it. All that <laughs> white shit. God damn. Yikes! <laughs> the neck is that neck is on fire. Yo, charcoal match light looking ass brisket back bitch. I think brisket back bitch is like my favorite girl. My favorite was the seafood boil because I did see a um a picture of her back. I was like, damn. But of course, I wouldn't be surprised her back probably looked like a face. Yeah, but I thought the face and the neck looked like that because of like um hair bumps. You know, shaving oh. and shit. Mm. I, but it looks like she just got eczema. No, that's beyond eczema. No, on her back, it looked like eczema. Damn. It was like, hey, you got, never mind. I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I got eczema. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It don't look like that. <laughs> I'm like, Ah, that's not my mom. It, it, look, it looks a couple uh, more exits up from eczema to me. Yeah, like what's <laughs> what Kim Kardashian got? Or psoriasis. Yo, plaque psoriasis. Yeah, no, so, this, I, it's a lot. That looks like she has a real serious condition going and I would, on. And I would, if I, I would address those first before I get a BBL. Like, I would address. Yeah, but when the BBL free. Hey, somebody want to do a skin peel. Oh, no, I think she did start getting skin pills. And then, like, there was a little bit of a difference in her face. Mm-hmm. But she looks like she's got a lot of years of damage. Damn. 
Damn. Plucking. She likes you pluck her. But that's why I'm like. Pluck and pick. You. <laughs> you gonna get online mm-hmm. and really just Sh- why shit on your core fan base. Your core fan base, like why? Yeah. I've only heard uh, black women say, "Charles, your lunch is ready." Not for real. I've only heard I've only heard black women say that. Yeah, I've never heard a white. Well, I don't really follow a lot of white people. I don't know too many. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't know too many that would. But so it could be some. But. I've never seen it online. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure a lot of white people wouldn't know who the fuck Charles Nettie is. Like, I, yeah, no, I, I'm about to go to Miss Nettie's page right now. And see if you see any white women. I'm about women. to see if I see white Netta, women. I feel like the white women that do, though, have niggas as pets. <laughs> 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 like, they dog is a nigga. Let me see. That's the only thing I can think of. Because it just it really just doesn't make any sense for the most part. But you know what? It, I'm I'm not a fan, so I don't feel no type of way. Like I don't feel like, oh damn, I gotta unfollow Netta now. Yeah, black woman, black woman, black woman. Oh, here goes one white woman. Go see, go see if she got a nigga though. On her oh, page private. private. She like she dating niggas. What is saying her profile? Fishing addict. Side boo, my cat tiger. Uh, I love cat scratch here. Nah, she probably date white men. Uh, let's see, let's see if we can find another white woman. Is that a white? No, that's a black girl. Maybe you need to scroll down pretty far to find. Oh, here goes another one. Oh yeah, she looked like she date niggas. Yeah. Or homies. <laughs> <laughs> Look like that's her favorite pastime. Oh yeah. Now, let's see if we can find one more. Ciao, your lunch is ready. A black woman, black woman, black woman, black woman, black woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, Damn, you went down far. Yeah, and we've seen two white women. Mm, mm, mm. How many followers does Nita got? 267,000 on Instagram. Yikes. Yeah, like. You don't see too many. Yeah, I'm sorry. And if I was a black woman following Miss Nita, I would unfollow. Not for real. But You're not finna get on the internet and say all that shit about me. And You know I'm who continue stupid. to follow 45 to 50 to 60 year old black women who feel the same way? Yeah, yeah, they are ignorant. Them black, them them YNs, <laughs> them YNs are ignorant. <laughs> them young niggas. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they, don't, they so ignorant. That's what, this the one, that's why the white folks be laughing at us. Hell yeah. That's the ones who be believing that shit. Hell yeah. Be parents to these, I almost said something. I said, I ain't going to say it up, but I almost said something. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I know. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know. <laughs> you know that. Hell yeah. She know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but at the end of the day, uh, yeah, Miss Nada, I want to say fuck you. I I don't really give a fuck. What you I got don't going care on. enough. Yeah, I don't care enough to what the fuck you got going on at honestly. all, at all. Mm-mm. And anybody who is an enemy of my people is an enemy of me. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's a mouth. That's a mouthful. <laughs> I was, uh, I think about it. An enemy to my people is an enemy to me. Okay, cool. <laughs> I know this is right, enemy. Okay, look. Enemy I'm, to my people. I'm stand with us, okay? In fact, no, nah, literally. And speaking of standing with us, Kamala, you're not well. And you, we had talked talk about this in the group chat that, mm-hmm. you know, you felt some things were going to happen. Yeah. Well, I was going to say Joe Budden. <laughs> Joe Biden, you know, did, did the most suitable thing because. It was the most respectful thing he yeah, could do. Yeah, it was the most patriotic thing. That's the, that's the word I like. White folks like to use when yeah. shit like that patriotic thing to drop out of the race. He really served his country because he knew that he couldn't carry a second term. He he knew he could not beat Trump in the condition that he was in. And I heard that there was a medical emergency on Air Force One. I'm not surprised. Mm-hmm. I I really hope I'm wrong, but I wouldn't be surprised if Biden is already. You said you said you he already gone. <laughs> I wouldn't, I mean, I just wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, and that he's transitioned. I wouldn't be shocked. And I kind of had a feeling. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling. Biden already did. Girl, like, I had a little bit of a feeling whenever they came out and they were like, yeah, he's got COVID. Oh. This was like two, three weeks ago. Uh-huh. And I was like, damn. Because once he's supposed to do something? Yeah, I think so. Like, give a speech or something? Yeah, and they were like, yeah, he has COVID. Have and we seen him since? Yeah, no, we did see him. Okay. Well, they said it was him, but I mean... We don't know. You put any white it man was a video man. of a white man in a suit. It was a picture of a white man in a suit walking. Oh, if you want to follow, they probably want him. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga has an unsteady gait. The only thing I will say uh-huh. is that I thought was weird 
was the fact that there were two statements from Biden. Mm -hmm. The first one saying, hey, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and sit this one out. Mm -hmm. And then the second one stating, I'm going to endorse Kamala. Why wouldn't you just put that into one? Do you think that was, because it was a few days after he made those statements. Do you think that it, it was already known that he was going to do that? Like with her, do you think? What do you mean a few days? Because it was a, a, I thought there was a few days from the statement made that he's sitting it out to the statement that he made. He's endorsing her. No, it was like an hour and a half. Two really? Hours. Yeah. Oh, they damn. were They were within hours of each other. Oh, damn. That's why I, I was like, why wouldn't you just put this into one statement? I mean, because they're two, they're two different statements, though. Are they really? Yeah. You're, you're, sign, you're stepping down. And then endorsement. So it's it's two totally different statements. To me, it sounds like there's some shakiness on endorsing her. And I don't like that. You think so? Yes, absolutely. Because if I'm going, th- like, that's like me being the president of a company. And I'm like, hey, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and see y'all later. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. And I come back. Oh, before I leave, mm-hmm. <laughs> here's your new president. Mm-hmm. That doesn't make sense to me. I could, why I, wouldn't you put that into one statement? It sh- to me, it shows that the, the Democrats were still a little bit iffy on what they were trying to do. I think they were. And that is fucked up. Because I, I honestly and truthfully believe mm-hmm. that, they, that that was something that they've been working on. I feel like they had been working on that for weeks. Mm-hmm. They had been working on an exit plan for him. Mm-hmm. I think that's why they announced that he had COVID. You think, that was, you think they've been working on an exit plan for weeks? Yes. I, I, I think it came up to the last, like the last minute that he dropped out. Like I think he was advised several times too. And he was like, no, I can, I can do it. And then at the last minute he was like, yeah, no, Joe. I think when all the videos started coming out of him – uh, giving people incorrect names, mm-hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> him saying, uh, I'm now bring to you Putin and mm-hmm. all that. Mm-hmm. I think they were just like, okay, we cannot hide the fact mm-hmm. that this man got something medical going mm-hmm. on anymore. A medical emergency. Hell yeah. Yes. And I think that they were just like, okay, you know what? We have got to figure out a plan mm-hmm. and we got to start, we got to set it into place. I, I honestly can see them making two different statements though, because it is, I I don't I wouldn't want that that I'm coming out to be grouped with him falling out like it's already dropping is. out. Not, I mean, but if you pull up the statements though, it's one statement I'm endorsing Kamala. I fully trust and believe her. So I wouldn't want it to that's be. How do you fully trust and believe me when you didn't include me in your first statement? Well, shit, how you fully trust and believe me when you don't even know what's going on? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. He didn't write either one of them. Yeah, somebody did. Mm-hmm. So why would you think that it was not a good idea to include in your original statement, Mm -hmm. hey, I'm leaving, and before I leave, I want y'all to know that I am putting y'all in the good hands. Mm. And these good hands that I think belong to (laughs) Mm -hmm. Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. Why? why, why, I don't understand. I don't know. You could have kept all that, oh, you know, group of the, for the betterment of America Mm -hmm. and I don't know. Me personally, I was just like, they should have just put that in the one statement. Well, maybe, I felt like it felt away. Maybe they had to do separate press releases. Like, maybe it's a, a procedure when you're doing press releases like that, too. Maybe. Like, you know, if it, you're officially um, I mean, stepping down. I mean, because the, what, fourth? It's been a while since somebody did that. Step down? Mm-hmm. Or just not ran a second term? Step down. Mm-hmm. But I also think that some of us were thinking he was stepping down from presidency. <laughs> yeah, and Kamala already in the president. Yeah. And no, he just said he ain't running. Yeah, he's still the president until November. But get sometimes. your old ass up out of here. Damn, not all them niggas old. Yeah, all of y'all. All them niggas old. And this, I, this is a shit show. If I've like, this is the Girl, craziest shit I've ever seen. Trump. Then pulled his vice president from the depths of hell. Girl. This man literally said he didn't even like you, would not even vote for you and endorse you, and you didn't pull him from the depths of hell. Now he making silly ass claims talking about if you're childless, then you shouldn't make. If you this, you know, our, talking about our president is childless. You know, none other presidents before gave birth. You know that, right? You you realize that, girl? She has children that she's raised, and uh, I think her husband's ex wife came on like said, no, Kamala has been a great step parent and raise our kids talking. they're just talking about anything they're just talking and that's what trump was able to run on before he mm-hmm. was able to run on insults mm-hmm. he was able for 
them to wheel Biden in and mm-hmm. him to be like, oh, look at this old motherfucker. This old geezer. Look at this old bat. He doesn't even know where he is He's right seen now. He's hell yeah. Yeah, that's what he was running on. But and you have Kamala who's smart 18 and years younger than you. Knows her shit. You know, very eloquent. Can say stuff without having to say weird and stupid. I saw somebody who's like, stupid Kamala. <laughs> Girl, dumb, dumb Kamala. I, I saw him call her a bitch. It, you know, it's only a matter of time for it shit get real racist. It's gonna be a nigga. I, I ain't gonna. Say, I'm not gonna say nigga because I feel like he he know better. No, he doesn't. It's gonna be colored, uppity, <laughs> mammy. Um, he gonna mm-hmm. he's going to really say something though. Yeah. And I just like that. It is. I I wish they debate. I know he's not gonna do it though. He oh he, yeah no he know no. And of course the the Republicans are running. Mm-hmm. They're like oh well, we're not gonna run. We're not gonna do a, a debate unless they fully announce her. Mm-hmm. All right. So what y'all gonna do when that happens? Mm-hmm. Then it's oh no we're not gonna do it because y'all already know. Mm-hmm. Leave it to a black woman first of all to right. come and save fucking world the world strong i'm a strong black woman leave, leave it to a damn black woman sound like a hymnal <laughs> just ready to lead the world out of and you know all, all the the things that people were saying about kamala too like the misinformation that's out it's there heavy it's real so i was on a zoom call with lovey mm-hmm and she was calling out the content creators to like, you know, now's the time to like lead the change. And they gave us like talking points of like, you know, because there's a lot of misinformation about how she um, mass incarcerated a lot of black men. And mm-hmm. it was like 1,200. Well, the, the, the actual statistic is, first of all, they never grouped them by race. It said 200 people, period. But only 48 of them were convicted. And those were heavy drug offenses, not just like a little. Right. Ounce, a dime yeah, bag. a little dime bag, a little three five. Like these are like, these are big meat sh- numbers and shit like that right. like this is very serious shit and then too like she's oh her stance on truancy you know they were saying like oh she's trying to lock parents up and honestly the issue with truancy was that they did research and found that a lot of the people that um committed violent offenses were not going to school in elementary hmm. so she was trying to get elementary kids in school and staying in school and going to school and stuff like that. And she put initiatives in place and stuff like that, but no parents were ever jailed behind that. And so all this misinformation and niggas do not read. Of course not. And niggas do not do research. Of course not. And so you have, all, what's the name? Ear, ear drummer. <laughs> Who? Race murder. Oh girl. Yeah. When he got on mine, I'm like, you just shut didn't the you fuck let up. That, didn't you let that homie beat your ass? Ain't he doing that thing with that Mexican girl? Yeah, no, his brother or whatever, the other dude in his group, yeah. Yeah, didn't you let that homie whoop your ass? Yeah. And, and jump all over your car and shit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear shit from you. I'm just like... I don't want to hear a motherfucking thing from and, you. And then, let's be honest, y'all. Mm-hmm. Like, you literally have Trump mm-hmm. standing before people, mm-hmm. and he's like, oh, yeah, we're going to pardon the police. Give them immunity. Give them immunity. Mm-hmm. We're going to let them do whatever they want to do. Yeah, for doing an honest, what's it, honest jobs. And, or And meanwhile, mm-hmm. we have Sonia Massey, mm-hmm. who was killed in her own home. For calling the police. For calling the police. Mm-hmm. Saying that she felt like somebody was had broken into her home. Mm-hmm. Then, do you know what kind of problem we got to have for somebody to answer their door and to say, please don't hurt me? No facts for you for you to call the police, and as soon as they get there, and there's already aggression, and you know, as and soon as you, they haven't even crossed the threshold, the threshold yeah, to come into your house. But they have an attitude with you, like you ruin their fucking day. And I was like, wow. And for I don't see how anyone can watch that and be like, oh, you know, because sometimes you see stuff and you're like, okay, well, I could see how they kind of may have fucked up, or, you know, I could see how they feared, but for someone to to look at that and see that she put the water down, that she posed no threat. And see that you told her to go get the water. Mm -hmm, And take it off. And take it off the stove. Mm -hmm. And then you told her to go over there, and then you want to demonize her for going over there? For following an order. For following and doing what you asked her to do. Mm Mm-hmm. On top of the fact that you could you could clearly see that the woman was distraught. Mm-hmm. You could clearly see that she probably wasn't just really in her right state of mind at that moment. Mm-hmm. Y'all are steady asking her, go get this, go get that. Go get your ID. Go get go your get ID. Your license. Go, like, go get this. Da, 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 what da, do you da. need all that for? You know how fucking flustered I would be 
if I if I'm thinking somebody outside my house, you asking for my fucking ID, like I'm the one that did something, girl. Like my yeah, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Y'all can go. And and then the fact of, of them asking you for your ID, I don't know about y'all. My ID is in my purse. Mm-hmm. Now I go and reach into my purse. How do I know that the officer ain't gonna think that I'm finna pull a pull a weapon out? Yeah, that would be in the back of my head. Yeah. So now I've got to make sure that I move. I move a certain way. Mm-hmm. I gotta make sure I'm keeping my hands steady. Mm-hmm. I gotta make sure that you're keeping an eye on my hands and you can always see. No. Mm-hmm. No. And to kill that woman for <sighs> shooting her in the face, girl, for a, a for, for something. telling her that you're going to shoot her in the head before you actually do it. Yeah. And she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and I'm going to shoot you in your fucking face. And then she apologizes and says, I'm sorry, and puts her hands up defensively and you sh- let off shots all in her face. And then lies to her family about the shit. Her family don't even know what the cause of they. They just think somebody shot her, not knowing that a deputy shot her until days later. Then we got the we got the video from first of all after the fact of that his um, whoever was with him mm-hmm. tried to go render aid to her. And he said, "Oh, she's gone." You said she's gone. It's a headshot. Mm-hmm. Then they have video of you outside talking to your to your fellow police officers, mm-hmm. and you refer to her as a stupid fucking bitch, a crazy bitch. And I'm like, this man and then went to six jobs and no DUIs. Mm-hmm. They domestic said violence. Domestic violence. They said that he's been inappropriate at other positions. He's been let go. He was un- dishonorably discharged from the military. That man should have never had a fucking badge to begin with. And the sad thing is, is that a person like that is able to go and get a job mm-hmm. and they have somebody who's willing to give them a second chance. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, you have black people who have never committed violent crimes. Mm-hmm. You have black people who have the smallest thing on their record from whenever they were 18, 19, 20. Simple theft. Simple theft, petty mm-hmm. theft at that, mm-hmm. and can't even get a fucking job at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. But meanwhile, a white man who is that fucking crazed, mm-hmm. who is that fucking... Uh, Incensed girl can just go out here and get a job and and kill in another somebody. county another state yeah go out there hurt someone yeah go out there pull a weapon out he he was clearly itching to pull a trigger no nah, for real he 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 felt like shooting somebody his and i'm so thankful that the other guys uh that da- uh what's it called body cam was on because his was not turned on of course not. so that would you know he he came I already came out and made the story that she charged at him and was you know being aggressive to him yeah. and we saw that that was a lie but had no one's body cam been on that would have been a story that they ran with yep. and that's what that would have been a, and this would not have been headlines yep. but you know what a part of me is like you know what I'm I'm really sick of hearing about shit like this because in six months time there's gonna be somebody else doing something that calling or you know what I'm saying like I even told you just the four-year-old that got killed because the woman called the police on her ex-boyfriend and police just go in there gun ho and shooting everybody and then killed a little four-year-old. She trying to get away from a crazy ass nigga and y'all killed a baby. I'm just like, you know what? Calling the police are not for black people. That's not black people activities. It's not. I can't tell you the last time I called the police, but even in moments I should have called the police, I'm like, damn. It's fucked up that you even have to second yeah, guess that Yeah, like, shit. I don't, if I call the police, it might make things worse. You know, like, yeah. You want to make sure that you don't call the police and then you are Sonya Massey. Yeah, you get shot. You want to make sure that you don't call the police and... They don't go to the wrong house. They don't, <sighs> or you don't get arrested or you don't get... You know what I'm saying? Like it girl, is, the shit is just... Girl, it, it's been times when it's been a nigga been in love. <laughs> I'm like, man, I ain't going to call the police because shit. I don't think I can create. They might shoot him. Girl, I, I'm telling you. They might shoot him. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I haven't seen the police beat somebody ass in front of me. <laughs> it's not funny. But it's the truth. It's not funny, but. <laughs> it's the truth. Pull but, out the fucking <laughs> night. <laughs> I mean, I feel like all of us. <laughs> All of us know somebody who has had a wrong encounter with the police. We had a wrong encounter with the Hello? police. Hello, come on. In Tyler, Texas. Come on, somebody. We were minding our black ass business in Best Buy and surrounded by goddamn SWAT with guns. Oh, Jack, my baby was, I don't even think she was a year old. No, she wasn't. In a car seat. Nope. SWAT surrounding us, telling mm-hmm. us to put our goddamn hands up, taking my baby, searching my shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what did we do? Somebody was brandishing a gun. Bitch, we're in Best Buy. We are in Best Buy. 
we're said someone called said that one of us had a gun on us then after we prove that there's no gun Mm -hmm. the officer proceeds to tell me that i'm giving her a wrong a fake alias Mm -hmm. that that your your id was wrong or yeah and had the fucking nerve to tell me that she pulled me over last week i looked at her respectfully i don't know you you ain't even been to i don't live here never been to tyler i don't live here ma'am and say she pulled i pulled you over last week no you did not girl i'm gonna be honest when they got i thought damn who stole (laughs) Girl, I mean, it crossed my mind. I thought somebody we stole in Best Buy. Yeah, I'm thinking you think damn. somebody that stole, uh, I don't know, a DVD. Yeah, I'm like, I look at my baby daddy. I'm like, what the fuck did you do? Well, lo and behold, I'm about somebody brandishing a gun. I'm like, what? And I, there was not a gun on us. No gun on any person. And I'm just like, you know, it, that shit. You know how bad that could have been. Very much so. And my, you know, <laughs> you already know how it come with my kids. So I was already, f- I was, I was fuming. For you to like, they they took my baby and lifted her up. Oh yeah, I remember. And searched, checked, her yeah, car seat. searched her car seat, searched her diaper, searched her pamper. I'm like, you know, this has gone too fucking far, and it could have gone farther. That's the sad thing. It could have gone farther, and no one will be in jail for it. No, nope. because they definitely wasn't nobody cam. Yeah, nobody can. And we in, we in Tyler, Texas at that point, so that y'all went to jail. Yeah, and probably been charged with <laughs> with murder. Y'all would have been a reason that you know what I'm saying. Like that shit is just crazy. So I'm like, you know what? One thing I will say in the case of Sonia Massey, I will I will give that city, county, whatever it is. I believe she's from, she's from Illinois. Mm-hmm. Um, I will give them the credit of that that fucking bastard was immediately arrested, mm-hmm. charged with I think what three counts of murder. I don't know. He has Sorry, no man. bond. Mm-hmm. Like I, I will say that. Like set the precedence for this shit. And you and when he came out, you can tell that uh, like that everyone was a little uneasy because yeah, no, everyone's like no one's trying to come together with a story or ask if you okay like they could tell when he walked out oh yeah baby you going to jail like you did something that you weren't supposed to do there was absolutely no reason that a black woman with a pot i don't give a fuck what she had in her hand mm-hmm. that woman did not charge you with it wasn't posing as a, posing a threat it was not a threat you told her to go and take it off the stove and fuck dana dane Fuck Dana Dane horse mouth ass for saying some shit like that. Uh, you expect me to apologize? No, bitch, because first off, you're not a journalist and you're not credible. Second of all, you shouldn't even be speaking on that shit. That part. And the fact that you didn't even offer an apology for giving wrong information or wanting to look further in there, fuck you. Fuck you for that shit. Because that is like, bruh, I, I don't, it's something about a black person that just wants to shit on another black person to me that just makes my coochie dry. Girl. <laughs> just, it just, I don't, it, because it gives a who are you that part who, who sent you who hurt you who sent you why why are you like this towards your own kind and you know how the world is towards us girl that's what i'm saying you know how the world is towards us so why are you want to be the one to call like I, I don't even like black people playing the devil's advocate about shit like that girl because that makes no sense girl at all fuck dana dang for that that's shit. why i'm just like man we are sitting over here everybody is on uh, everybody's mental health is on it's fucking uh, Thin thread. Not for real. <laughs> we, we, yeah. We got to deal with the police. Mm-hmm. You know, we got to deal with all of these extra things that are just going on on Project the day to day. 25. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just cannot in good conscience see how as a woman, you would vote for Trump. As a black person, you vote for Trump. Mm-hmm. It just makes no sense for me with Amber Rose egghead ass up there endorsing. Amber Rose looks so fucking stupid. She looks... I almost said I almost said the I almost said a slur. <laughs> I almost caught it. <laughs> I almost caught it. Bitch, a word, girl. But like, how how are you as a you have a slut walk that's based in, in enhancing rights for women and and uh, civil liberties and feminism, and you're voting for a man who wants to take away your right to your own body because slut walk didn't make her no more money. Donald Trump and them then gave Amber a bag. It was bag. It was a bag that she clearly could not refuse. I hope Amber knows that once this election and everything is over, oh, she's done. You're done. You will not be forgiven. You're done. Hell, we haven't even let uh, Chrisette Michelle back. And she, all she did was sing. Yeah, she. Did. Yeah, she just sung. She just. What she sing the national anthem? Or yeah, some uh, enough. <laughs> enough. We we have completely cut off all ties with Chrisette Michelle. Know, poor Chrisette. Like I hope Amber knows mm-hmm. that. You're done. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely done. I pray for your kids. Yeah, but fuck so, you. Special notice that. Well, they them uh uh them, them whiz kids. That's whiz Khalifa kid. Yeah, but even still, like, 
I just, how? I just, I don't understand like how, if you're a school teacher, how are you voting for Trump? For him to want to do away with the Department of Education. Girl. And, and push back for the FDA. Like it just makes no sense. If you're on social security, he's wanting to end that shit. If you're, if you are over 65 and getting social security, how can you vote for Trump? If you depend on life-saving medicine and he's wanting to take away these taxes and, and give big pharma the will to do whatever, how are you voting for Trump? Yep. If you depend on government assistance, if you depend on Medicaid, mm-hmm, food stamps, mm-hmm. Medicare, how are you voting for Trump? He is not for you. Like, it makes no sense. And white women will always let y'all let y'all self down every single fucking time. Because y'all, y'all did it the first time. I promise. They y'all, never vote in their y'all best Y'all voted interest. for this man who wanted to grab your pussy the first time. And then y'all look for black women to come to the aid and defense. And, you know, uh, so we can talk about the, you know, we talk about Kamala. They talk about her pandering. Mm-hmm. <sighs> what Meg? Yeah, she is pandering. I'm, yeah, and? she's pa- yeah. She, and that's Republicans how, are too. That's how you win an election. She's definitely pandering. Shit. And I okay. <laughs> so how do you feel about Meg? That was that was the wild, you know, pick. I guess she said I gotta I gotta had a hottest the hot girl summer for mine. I don't know. Yeah. Meg came out of a little suit. Yeah, Meg said it's a president summer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's a hot president summer. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, it was odd. It was strange. In it, a little it was twirl. odd. Now, I will say, I, of course, I didn't watch the whole thing. So, was mm-hmm. Meg the only person that performed? Um, Quavo said she sent on business. And then um, Kamala, Kamala said something. What the hell they got going on? Kamala said something like, like my friend Quavo said, I'm, I'll walk it like I talk it. So, she's, she's definitely pandering. But this election is very dependent on the young voters. Yeah, it definitely is. This this is it. We need like the old people gonna vote, y'all. The ones who marched to vote, they gonna vote. Right. It's us that's not voting. So I I definitely feel like they're yeah they're pandering to us. They're pandering to well not us. <laughs> they're pandering. Yeah, cause I'm a vote. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Thanks. vote regardless. But they pandering to the the YNs. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to get the YNs to come out and vote Listen, and get registered to vote and all the other stuff. I'm like y'all. This is a very critical time. Mm-hmm. This is a critical time. And not only just go vote. Not only just this, y'all, because what happens is they'll win the presidency, but we don't vote in the smaller things. So it's full of Republicans in the yeah. House and the Senate. Mm-hmm. So every time they try to get a law and a bill passed, there's all they're facing blocks at every single turn of what they're yeah. trying to do and stuff like that. So we have to vote in all these elections, y'all. Not just the major one. We got to vote right. in our in our city and the smaller elections. Exactly. Like, I don't know. It's I, I, yeah, she pandering. Yeah, it was a little odd, but I mean, at this point, you gotta do what you gotta do. Right. You gotta no. do what you gotta do to make sure. You... Oh. <laughs> you don't... <laughs> All right, homie. <laughs> you can't just do it. <laughs> was it mine? Oh, okay. I'm gonna beat her. I'm gonna beat her ass. <laughs> Wish I could. Oh, girl, all right. <laughs> I just, you know. It's very important that we get out, especially if you have a platform, you know, Vote, to encourage y'all. voting, Please, folks. to continue to debunk misinformation. Because, you know, a lot of times the only information people get is through TikTok and mm-hmm. Instagram. Social media. So it's our job, too, to educate. You know, I know we're tired of these stupid ass niggas and the race trimmers in the other world, quote, misinformation and shit. The but Amber Roses. The Amber Roses and all the other shit. But we really have to debunk misinformation when we see it. Yeah. And also encourage everyone to vote, whether it's giving people a ride to the polls or making sure they register. Like we really have to do our part to make sure that this nigga is not <laughs> this orange, this uh, orange pill nigga does not get reelected for another term because the shit that he's talking about, he's talking about um, what's the call a uh, commu? Not, I'm not a communist. What? I don't know what the word a is. dictatorship. A dictatorship. He's wanting a dictatorship. Talking about you'll never have to vote again. <laughs> Girl, did you have you been noticing? I watched the video saying? earlier where he's been telling people you, you don't, don't have to. to we vote don't. For we me. don't. Have, we don't need the vote. I got. I got what I need. It was actually kind of scary. It's very scary. It was actually kind of scary. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, that means you already got it locked up. What is that? I be. And you know, let me not say that. I I just wish somebody wouldn't have missed. I just I just. You know. I've been said it. Whenever whenever the information came through, I was like, oh. Man, I guess I should put them butter beans on by now. Yeah, anybody want anything from the store? Yeah, y'all need anything? Y'all good? Mm. Y'all Gucci, my nigga? 
It the whole thing. I just. Y'all, we're living in some very wicked times right now. Nah, low key. This reminds me of Game of Thrones, but without dragons. <laughs> like it'd be not cool. but without dragons. It'd be cooler if Kamala had a dragon, but this is like <laughs> and let them just fight it out. Hell yeah, like let Dr- Dracarys. <laughs> Yeah, it just, just and incinerate Trump. Like it would be so like I could really get behind some shit like that. But this is Game of Thrones without dragons. It's really scary. It's some wild shit, y'all. It's really, really scary. And I'm if I'm being honest with you, I'm tired of seeing some historical shit in my damn lifetime. No, nah, for real. I'm I'm <laughs> sick of that shit. No, nah, I'm saying I'm tired of first. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, yeah, I, I don't. First. I'm cool on a pandemic. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm cool on a, a whatever the fuck presidential election. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm tired of all that. Yeah. I'm tired of. I don't want the. I don't want to be known for having the oldest president in the term, the oldest terminal president, or or the dictator. I'm listen. I just want to have regular. I just want to have. I want to live. Yeah. I just want to be able to afford to go to the grocery store. I want to afford my insurance. I want to afford gas. I want to afford. I want people to afford whatever medication it is that they need. I want. I want to be able to. Did you say my rent? Yeah. Yeah. That too. I want to be able to afford my rent and not have it raised up to price inflation and shit. Because I've seen something else about a, a server was talking about. Um, I had a two, which was kind of crazy on your part because like nobody told like girl find another job. Yeah. But she was like, I had a five hundred dollar bill and they tipped me sixty dollars, and then she said I had a nine hundred dollar bill and they tipped me a hundred dollars. Do you think that's fair? First of all, talk to your employer for paying you two dollars an hour. But I, they shouldn't be doing that anymore. If we're I being know. honest, yeah. They should. They, they, Tipping they, culture has gotten. Astronomical. Oh, it is ridiculous. Where was I at? I went to a a, a vendor, like you know, like yo, and she was like, "You want to, bitch? I'm supporting your business. What do you mean what tip more? you? Yeah, tip you. What more do you fucking want? I don't even feel bad cl- clicking no now. I used to feel bad, and I'm be Girl, like, I'm gonna put a little something here. My sister has like a uh, a rule of thumb whenever it comes to tipping. Mm-hmm. She's like, anywhere that I have to stand up, I'm mm-hmm. not tipping. Yeah, if I'm coming to pick it up. I'm so if I'm coming into Smoothie King, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you're not getting a tip. Sorry. No. Tipping culture is just is girl. It, it, I mean, you can't it, go nowhere without them asking if, if you want a tip. And it used to be ten percent. Now they're talking about twenty. Girl, it'd be. 10, 15, 20, and twenty five. And I'd be like, bro. I think she started at eighteen. I'm like, what, where's the ten? I'd be like two dollars. I'm not. I'm not putting it. I'm two dollars. I'm. And if I'm being honest, the other day, where was I? And let me see, because I, I, it asked me for a tip, and I said no, and one got added. Huh? Yeah. Where was it? One got added. Yeah. I went to Bread Zeppelin, and they added a tip anyway. They added a tip. And you picked up something that you ordered? I pick, I went in. First of all, that's another thing that be fucking pissing me off. Mm-hmm. And I told them, I said, every time I come up in here, I'm dealing with a nastier attitude than last time. Damn, not a nastier attitude. And it fucking pisses me off. Not because you, how am I going to walk up mm-hmm. and you just looking at me? No greeting, no hi, no, how hello. may I help you? Uh, what would you like to order? Mm-hmm. So I'm looking at her. I'm like, are you going to ask me what I want? What do you want? Some service. Okay. God damn. Some common fucking courtesy. Yeah, so the little tip thing came up. I'm, I told the girl, I said, how do I push fuck no on here? <laughs> fuck no. Girl, the shit added a dollar. Yeah. Added a dollar. What'd you I do? I was like, I did not ask for that. Mm-hmm. Did you get a dollar back? No. I was just like, y'all don't have to worry about me coming in this motherfucker no more. I would have I reported it as fraud. Girl, I was tempted to call my bank and just tell them, that, hey, that wasn't me. But I said, you know what? Mm-hmm. It's okay because I'm I'm way more blessed than that. Not added a dollar. Girl, definitely added a dollar. It's between that and the um, automatic gratuity for me. Certain places. Because I heard, was it jo- Johnny? The Neo place that's out here. Mm-hmm. I only charge 18% gratuity on top just because. Like that is what if I didn't enjoy the service? Girl, they don't care. Remember uh the spot we went to that I got into with the little waitress? When she had a nasty attitude? Uh-huh. They automatically added gratuity on their checks. For real? Yeah. And meanwhile, you're over here with a waitress that's like, what'd you say? Mm-hmm. And and why are you saying that to me? Cause yeah. one thing about me, I'm not scared to repeat shit. 
facts. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> what I said was, uh-huh. your attitude is bad. Go get somebody else. Find somebody else to do it. You don't want to do it? Go get somebody else. Yeah. And I don't want to seem like the person that you'd be out here going off on people. Because <laughs> I'm not. I am not. But also, I am not going to just deal <laughs> with any... I'm sorry, I'm not going to deal with just any kind of service yeah. and then you expect for me to tip you. Yeah. And meanwhile, you go to other countries and tipping is so far from customary, mm-hmm. they don't even look for it. Well, now a lot of places are trying to, you know, wanting to tip because that, that's from a, Americans. That's what we've ingrained. But like from Americans, just do your fucking job. Girl, I went to Costa Rica work trip, mm-hmm. left a tip. One of my Costa Rican coworkers was like, we don't do that here, Tana. <laughs> Take that off. Damn, take it off. And I was like, oh, it's on the job. It don't yeah, matter. Yeah. He's like, no, we don't do that here. Damn. And it was $5. Mm-hmm. But when you think about it, it's like they don't even, that's not even, they just. Provide the service like they're supposed the to. Provide like, the service like they're supposed to. Mm-hmm. The same way I provide a service. I don't get, yeah, I don't get tipped. I don't get tipped. And I do, I do a great job in my job. I promise you. I do an amazing job. I don't get. I don't. I just almost. I'm gonna start pulling a square after Girl. my appointments. You want to? Like the fuck is going on? Girl, I'm trying to tell you. That's why I was just like, you know what? I don't even know how we got on tipping. Me either. Because from Trump and yeah. Kamala. Mm-hmm. Um, talking about voting. I yeah, y'all, remember. just please go vote. Mm-hmm. It's super critical right now. We, yes, big facts. This is really going to be a huge deciding factor between whether or not we are going to go back. 30, 40, 50 years. Shit. Two years. What's different? What What's different? I mean, if Kamala can get us to go forward, I'm all for it. But, like, the same shit has been happening to us. And no one, like, no one cares until it's, you know, even with the crack stuff, no one cared until it was fentanyl and opioids. Now it's an epidemic. Now yeah. we really got to have treatment centers and shit like that. But when y'all was locking up our brothers and uncles and stuff for small ounces of crack for 10, 20 years. When y'all put it out there for them. When y'all gave it to them in the first fucking place. Yeah, for real. But now it's a pan- a epidemic. It's how I say pandemic. Now it's an epidemic. Yeah, shit is crazy, dog. It's okay. It's really crazy out here. So I do have um, a hear you, hear you. Let me see. Um... I'm going to let you pick. Okay. Refusing to give my late husband's uh, affair baby any money. Friend zoning woman after the first date. or Wait, what's that? Friend zoning after the first date. Okay. Or um, my ex is begging me not to contact their mistress. Friend zone. Okay. <laughs> the other one's too deep. Yeah, and I'm cool. There's huh? enough baby talk okay. with Rashida. <laughs> I want... Tw- um, 26 went on a date with a woman who's 30 years old. The woman is friends with a friend of mine. My friend both knew we were looking for a partner and thought it would be a great idea to set us up. During the date, we both enjoyed ourselves, and I thought this girl was really nice and sweet, but we had some differences that are deal breaker for me. One, she doesn't want any kids. I want kids. Two, she's a pothead. Used to be one myself, and I don't need to be around that stuff anymore. Three, she really isn't a fitness and I'm trying to end, or trying to eat healthy and I am. After our first date, I tried to send her the nicest message I could, letting her know it was nice meeting her and I enjoyed our company, but I think our relationship would be best as friends. Hope we can be friends. Response, thanks for your honesty. The next day, I talked to my friend and he said that she's angry at me that I wasted her time. She is now also angry with my friend who set us up for a date. Did I do something wrong? No, you did not. Mm-mm. But let me tell you right now, sweetheart, some of my best friends <laughs> <laughs> to this day, have been niggas I've been on the date when I was like, you know what? It don't work. I don't I don't think this is for us. But I really think a friendship would really like I I really want to be your friend. You yep. And these are like some of my best friends to this day. Like it's not like I think she may have um took it to heart. Like you you hurt her ego by that, but you were very honest. Yeah, I can appreciate the honesty. Mm-hmm. And it, well, it, it also depends on how, how you say it. I mean, that's that's a factor as mm-hmm. well. But I mean, if you said it in a reasonable matter, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't see the issue. Yeah, she probably she probably just felt bad. Played. Yeah, F- played. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I've I don't know. Have you ever like friends on a nigga after a date? Or do you just not talk to him? I just don't talk to him. See, I'm doing it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. I just don't talk to the nigga no more, and then um. he just text call. I know you definitely gonna be my bestie. <laughs> <laughs> you my bestie now. Like go best friend. There okay, so I have there's nah, I ain't gonna even say that. <laughs> um there I I just 
I don't have to be friends with everybody because there are some niggas I'm like, yeah, I don't need to. Like, you're not a good. You wouldn't even be a great yeah, friend. Yeah, you're not a good person. Yeah, but there are some niggas I'd be like, you know what? You cool. It's not for me. Like, I don't see you like that. But like, we can still talk and communicate. Yeah. Or just, you know, just there are sometimes you just see fun- fundamental differences that you already know. Like, if I didn't see a nigga smoking a square, mm, yeah, I'm okay. Cool on that. I'm good. I'm good on your yeah, little daddy. I'll be all right. Yeah. Or <sighs> teeth. Teeth are a big thing with me. I feel that teeth are a big thing for me. So if I if I look in your mouth and I see a few missing, <laughs> you know, a few black or dark, like yeah, throwing up, <laughs> throwing up Seven Elevens and shit like that. Praying. Um, we could probably just be friends. Now I'm I'm not gonna say like oh your teeth fucked up I can't fuck with you. Yeah. But I'm like you know what I'm okay. I think we're just better as friends. Or like I'm not. What I will say is like I'm I don't. I've said before, like, I don't see that, you know, for us. Like, I think we just have so many differences, but I really enjoyed our conversation. Cause I'm a, I'm, first of all, I'm a great date. I'm, Period. if you're gonna, I'm a great date. I'm a, ha- even if I don't like you like that, I, we're still gonna have a great time. Period. And especially, time. especially, if, have a you, blast. especially if you're spending. Oh, we're gonna have an f- amazing time. Conversation Phenomenal. good, company good. Sensational. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be a great date, but I can also Terrific. have a great <laughs> Diabolical, a diabolical, diabolically good day. I'm about to say, whoa, not diabolical. Dialab- day. Diabolically good day, <laughs> and still like feel the need, like yeah, that's not yeah. Outstanding. Yeah, it's like I'm okay. Yeah, you don't think you, ever, you say you never friends on somebody though. Mm-mm. I mean, I friends with them, but they didn't know it. Like I didn't have a conversation with them about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, they thought they were still working. Yeah, so and I was just like, yeah, no, I don't even see you like that. But they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. Oh, they, you, Which was a problem on my end. No, you poor definitely, communication. You definitely gonna know with me. Yeah, poor communication. You def- Cause I'm hornball. <laughs> if I don't try to fuck you, then you already know that I just see you know you. the vibes. Yeah, if I, if I don't try to touch on you, if I don't try to fondle you a little bit, then you know I'm just trying to be your friend, baby. I remember I had one nigga that like I had like mentally friends on, mm-hmm. and he tried to touch me, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> not like Ebony. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I just came. To, I just came to be your friend. Don't touch me. <laughs> Not you forgot you friends on him. Yeah, I mentally did it. I never had a conversation with him. Damn. So he still thought he had a chance, and I'm like, ew, you're the sussy. I love calling niggas bro. <laughs> bro, bro, stop! You so bro. Come God, on, damn, you hit him like that, bro. I'll, I'll bow, nigga. <laughs> Bro, Shit. come on now. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't friend zone you. Yeah, what? <laughs> Give me that hard. That's fine too. <laughs> Shit, that's okay too. Shit, that's that's the plan. It's, it'd never really be a loss with niggas anyway. It's fine. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> niggas, I'll be trying to tell y'all niggas are not prices. No, yeah, no, never really be a loss. They're never, they're never, like, we're the gold. <laughs> we're the gold medals. Period. But. That's it for, uh, I don't know. You're not an asshole for doing it. No, people, people don't know how to handle rejection sometimes. Yeah. That, that's what it seemed like. Especially if a mutual hooked y'all up. So the mutual probably was like, how was it? Right, right. And she probably was like, oh, it was amazing. It was a good time. And you and feel it, otherwise. And that's okay. Yeah, and it's okay. Yeah, Shit. It's okay. And if the, yeah, she stopped talking to that friend or she stopped talking to you, it's all right. Yeah, so be it. it. Fuck, fuck her. So be it. All right, well. You already know what it is. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, you can always send us a Gmail at hearyoupodcast at gmail.com. It's Hear You Podcast on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Hear You Podcast on every single thing. Y'all can find me on IG. Help me get the 10K at Period. Where BB, W-H-E-R-E-B-B. Because people saying Where Bebe. <laughs> I'm like, who is that? But I, I get it. Okay, I get it. Too. <laughs> what about you? And, of course, y'all can find me on Instagram at Tana Taught You. That is T A N N A H. A lot of y'all seem to forget the H in my name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Taught you. All right. All right, bro. You ready to get up out of here? And we'll see you niggas in two weeks. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye.